It was time, finally, for Jerry Johnson to go home. The 77-year-old man was diagnosed with COVID-19 in late November and had been at Sky Ridge Medical Center in Colorado ever since. <laughs> Hospital employees formed a clap line, serenading Johnson as he was wheeled out of the facility. It was the first time he'd seen most of his family members, let alone hug them, in seven weeks. It is great um, to see somebody that that's beaten it. It's um, very personal for Mark Merritt, a respiratory therapist whose role during this pandemic has been critical. Never seen anything like it in that level of, of, of death. Um, people just dying so quickly. COVID-19 does much of its damage inside the lungs. Inflammation, impaired lung function, and pneumonia often make these patients the sickest of the sick. They'll go from just a little bit of cough and not feeling well to all of a sudden their oxygen needs go off the charts. It's up to an RT to try to bring the lungs back to life. I love everything about my job. Knowing that I can just help one patient get off a ventilator is what really drives me to come to work every day. When the pandemic first started, the ventilator was the go-to machine for hospitals. But as time has gone by, the damage vents can do to the body has become more apparent. It's just complete opposite thinking from when the pandemic started to where we are now. Tiffany Cunningham works at North Suburban Medical Center, where invasive intubation of patients has been replaced with high pressure oxygen whenever possible. This is physical work RTs turn patients onto their bellies to improve oxygenation while protected head to toe. RTs must also be flexible and open to new ideas. A good respiratory therapist can get a square peg in a round hole. Um, it might take five or six adapters to figure out how to do that, but we're, we've got plumber in our blood somewhere. They deal with stress that comes with caring for people whose families aren't allowed to be with them. For me, that's been something that's been hard for me. It's just something that sometimes weighs on you. The rewards are working as a team to make scenes like this possible. We've looked at this patient for weeks or months thinking like, oh, I, this isn't good, but he's not gonna make it. And then miraculously, they do, and it's just such a great feeling, and it makes you so excited to see, and it's something very special. All of the staff are heroes, every single one of them. Significant rehab still lies ahead for Johnson, who spent two weeks on a ventilator, but he's fought off a virus that's killed so many. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.